In the last video, we added a couple of new classes that we can use to extract our form validation code from our widget class. And we said that we want to import this code into the email signing form by using a mixing. So what is a mixing? A mixing is just like a normal class, but it can be used to extend the functionality of existing classes. So we're going to see how this all works in a minute. But first of all, let me create a new class and this is going to be called email and password validators. And this class is going to have two variables. The first one is going to be a string validator and I'm going to call it email validator like this. And I'm going to assign it a value of type non empty string validator like this. And then I'm going to copy paste this and I'm going to name the second variable password validator. So this class that I've just created is going to be the mixing for my email signing form. So let me show you how this works. Here I'm going to copy this class name and then I can head back to the email signing form and in the class declaration after the extend stateful widget I'm going to type in with and then email and password validators and I need to import this so that you can find it. So what I've just done here is to add the email and password validators class as a mixing to my email signing form and what I can do now is to scroll down to the build children method and I can update the implementation of the submit enabled condition. So here what I'm going to do is to type in widget dot email validator dot is valid and then I can pass in the underscore email value and then I can use the end to create a join condition and then I can type in widget dot password validator dot is valid and here I can pass in the password just like this and I no longer need the old condition. Okay, so you might wonder why I'm taking the trouble to abstract away the validation logic by adding some more code. And if we add over to the validators file, we can see that here it's very easy to understand the logic and we can easily make changes or add new validators if we want. So this is a much better place to have this kind of logic rather than in the widget class. So let's continue on the next video.